So I'm I'm frustrated, and I just want to share from some of the frustration with you. And and you know, here's the thing: everyone kind of experiences frustration and setbacks and challenges. Uh, the difference is how you react to them. So the reason I'm frustrated is because you know I had a 30-something unit building under contract in Baltimore, and it looked pretty good at the outset. And then when we got into due diligence, it became clear that the numbers don't work out. You know, which is good. It's better that you 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 know not do a deal that makes sense. The problem with that is you spend hours and hours looking for deals, analyzing deals, finally get it coming on a contract, then you get into it, spend more hours, and the deal goes nowhere. And uh, you know that's very frustrating. So I don't know if you can, uh, you know, you you maybe experience your own frustrations, but you know, here's the thing. I mean, here's how I'm handling this, and maybe you can handle it in the same way. You learn something from it, but so I mean. You can't ignore the fact that this is a frustrating experience. I mean, you just time wasted, you know, but what do you do with that? You know, you can either throw a fit or give up. And this is the time when you kind of remind yourself uh, on your big why. You know, why are you, why did you set out to do multifamily investments? You know, it's and, and it's because you want to change your life. You want to achieve certain financial goals. You want passive income. You want to quit your job. You you know tr you know want to be able to travel more. Whatever the case may be, this is where you pull out that piece of paper that hopefully you wrote down your reasons for for going doing all this stuff, and you really sit there and think about it. Hey, is that still what I want? You know, and hopefully you'll come back with saying yes, I still want that. And the other thing to remember is that this is not a sprint. There's no way you're going to do it, get into this thing and within a month or so, you know, retire. It's just not going to happen. You have a realistic time from three to five years, which sound like it's not a long time, but really it's a really long time. I mean, you're asked to do something for months and months and months, possibly without any kind of success whatsoever. And so the, the, the temptation to give up is great. And I just want to remind you that, you know, even, even the guys that are, you know, that, that are doing this for a while, uh, that are really determined, uh, still, they're not going to be an overnight success. So you're definitely on a marathon and not a sprint. It's kind of like a, a life sport, like golf. It's something you do for the rest of your life, and you never really master it, but you get better and better at it. And multifamily investing is kind of in the same way. So I'll tell myself and you that don't be discouraged. You know, uh, review your big reason why, and keep on doing what you're doing. All right, it's going to be all worthwhile. And that's why I got into the first place. But you got to stay disciplined. You got to be patient and it will pay off. So hope that helps. I'll talk to you later.